Okay. Okay. Good morning, Christine. Hi, Tony. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Hi, Charlotte. Good evening. Good to see all of you again. I hope you're, you, everybody's doing well. Thanks, Christine. Good morning. I hope everyone's doing well and had a good week and are ready to do some reflective journey today. It's going to be a a good journey. Hi Gauri, lovely to hear from you. Um, great to have you with us today, each one of you. And um, hi uncle, welcome. It's good to have all of you back again with me on Sunday at 5 p.m. I hope everyone's been doing well and having a good week. I've had a good week too, thank you. Um, what did I do through the week? I had some lots of online sessions and of course I also gathered together. Uh, yesterday I had a gathering, what we call a Reiki circle, where all people I have attuned or trained in Reiki, we meet. When we were all in Abu Dhabi, we would meet and have a, you know receive, give and receive Reiki to one another. And uh, I decided to do it online. So we had a beautiful two sessions catering to different um, time zones. And we gathered and we sent Reiki to each other online. And it was just as beautiful. Of course, we missed the hugs and the uh, having a cup of tea together. But uh, just to be able to give and, give and receive Reiki and reconnect with one another uh, has been beautiful for us. So all of us are feeling recharged uh, and uh, very well balanced. So uh, good morning, Joni. Uh, good to have you. Hi, Flavia. Good to have you here too. And uh, hi, Rita. Lovely. So we've got a mix of, you know, different time zones here. Flavia, I'm not sure where you live, uh, but welcome to you. I don't know if it's morning for you or afternoon or evening. We're getting nice and hot here with our summer, but uh, we learn to cope with each summer that comes by. Before, I, I will give a few more minutes for others to join in, but for those of you who are already here, today's meditation probably um, would be nice to have a, a notepad or a journal if you maintain one, uh, a paper, uh, sort of any paper or pen or notepad, pencil, just in case you feel the need to make notes. Like I said, it's actually a very reflective journey that we're gonna to do today. Um, and for some, you might want to just be in that zone and experience it and have your intuition speak to you. Uh, for some, you might want to make notes alongside, you know, uh, as and when you get some intuitive message. It all depends on how you want to experience today's meditation. Um, it's not like you have to close your eyes and you must do it this way. It's, um, it's all about your own personal choice here. I would recommend seated meditation today simply because there's a lot of um, reflection like I was mentioning earlier. Uh, but your choice, whether you want to close your eyes or you feel you want to make some notes, even if your eyes are closed and you want to open up your eyes and make some notes so that you take away something for yourself today. And I'm uh, sorry, I'm missing hello to everybody. Hi, Kim. Hi. Um, uh, I missed a few names. Sorry. Uh, Joanne. Yeah, right. I, I saw you saying hello to me. Okay, so uh, we just give it one or two minutes. I know some of uh, some others tend to join a few minutes later. And I want to explain today's uh, reflective journey um, to everybody. It's going to be, um, like I said, please make sure you have a notepad or pen or pencil, something, you know, just to make your notes. If you feel maybe you want to make notes at the end, maybe you want to make it throughout the meditation. It's your choice. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So let me start with a quote. Okay. We all have a spiritual purpose, a mission that we have been pursuing without being fully aware of it. And once we bring it completely into consciousness, 
our lives can take off. It's a quote from Celestine Prophecy. Today's meditation, your or personal legend and Celestian insights. So what do I mean by personal legend? Personal legend, uh, you could say, is the means by which you regard your life as fulfilling or fulfilled, you know. However, it's not about the level of success. It's about how it inspires you to consistently reach your maximum potential on all levels, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. Because when you are living uh, through your personal legend, you approach life with a sense of hope, um, excitement, or rather than fear or doubt or desperation. So that's what I mean by personal legend. Because when you're living life with hope, inspiration, and you, you know you're consistently making an effort to live your maximum potential on all levels, you then have a sense that I'm living with a purpose, my life is serving a purpose, and uh, it helps you just recognize that you have a purpose that you are working towards consistently. When you start exploring, um, and perhaps I should mention here, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, perhaps all of you have your personal legend already. You have an awareness of your personal legend, and that's great. For some of us, it will be creating a personal legend today. Or for some, it will be about um, seeing if you are consistently making an effort to reach that maximum potential in your personal legend. That means you're trying to enhance it. Or perhaps you want to tweak it a little bit and add new details to it. So it's going to be your journey about your personal legend. And when we start exploring our personal legend, we, uh, we start noticing that actually our entire life, all the experiences we've had, everything is interconnected. And uh, we also come to realize that actually we've been consistently uh, been nudged and guided towards our personal legend. And also you uh, tend to feel connected to all your strengths, your likes, dislikes and limitations and you know why they are there with you. They're all part of your personal legend. Now why did I choose to um, tap into the Celestian insights? Uh, for those who might not have read the book, there is a book called Celestian Prophecy. It was released in the year 1993 and the author is James Redfield. It was probably one of the first few spiritual books that I read. I think perhaps around that same year. I know uh, I, I read it around 1993 for sure. And it made a huge impact on me. And I'm just, I was just looking at the, uh, at the amazing path that I'm talking about it today uh, after so many years. Uh, I have been obviously suggesting that book to a lot of people. And some of you who know me uh, have probably um, watched the movie because now there's a movie also, um, Celestin Prophecy. So it, that book is basically uh, exploring or discussing psychological or spiritual ideas that are well present in the ancient Eastern um, traditions. And it's all about uh, the, the narration is by the central character, the main character who's going through a transition of life. And his journey is all about uh, discovering the nine insights of the Peruvian manuscripts. Of course, that, that was the first book, Nine uh, Insights. There are subsequent sequels to those books. So today there are 12 insights, 12 Celestian insights. And in that, in that phase where he's discovering these nine insights, he has a spiritual awakening because that's what these insights are about. They help you to um, get closer to your higher purpose, to, uh, to the divine. Yeah. So today... I, I chose three Celestian insights to help with, um, with making the connection with our personal legend or to discover or to fine tune our personal legend. I'm not used those three insights in sequence because as per the book, each insight leads to another. 
Uh, and that's the journey of the character. But I basically took three insights from it and we will be exploring those in the process of exploring or fine tuning our personal legend. Um, what else do I want to add for today? Uh, the, the, for us to be able to center ourselves today, we will start with some alternate nostril breathing for the one, for the ones who are not aware what alternate nostril breathing is. I will do a demonstration now and we'll do it right at the start just to center and connect with our left and right brain hemisphere because we want to connect with our rational thought process as well as our intuitive creative side the concept of masculine feminine and yin and yang comes back in here so we'll do that i've already been some of you have just joined me so i just want to mention that um, uh, try and experience this reflective journey while you're seated um, if you feel you want to make notes through the meditation, go ahead and have a notepad and pen or, pen or pencil next to you. Uh, and then I will pick up some guidance at the end today, not in the middle, not in the meditation. So let's go ahead and explore. But before we start it, I just want to, for the benefit of those who probably have not experienced or never done alternate nostril breathing, just to give you a demo of it, okay? So you will basically, a very simple format, of course there are different levels to alternate nostril breathing, we'll just do the basic. Close the right nostril, because we always start by breathing in from the left. So it might not look like I'm closing my right nostril, but that's what I'm doing. So you close your right nostril with your thumb, and you're gonna inhale with the left nostril only, and then when you Finish in her in your inhalation, you will close, you'll keep both your nostrils closed just for that brief second, and then you'll let go of your right um, nostril, the thumb, and you will just exhale from the right side. Once you've exhaled, you will inhale from the right, again, close it, and exhale from and open up the left, and exhale from the left. So that's one cycle. We'll do approximately three cycles, or if you feel you want, you can manage four. Go with you, go with your own pace. I will guide you all with the first one and then I'll ask you all to continue doing it for two more rounds at your own pace. So if you manage to do three in that, that's good. Okay, um, and let me just do it once just for the benefit of everybody. So it's goes this way. That was one complete cycle, all right? So again, just to inspire, and I know some of you have just joined me, I am just going to repeat that same quote that I start, started off with. We all have a spiritual purpose, a mission that we have been pursuing without being fully aware of it. And once we bring it completely into consciousness, our lives can take off, Celestine prophecy. So. The journey is about tapping into your personal legend that will help you to feel fulfilled. If you are already aware of your personal legend, you want to explore whether you want to fine tune it, you are to check in whether you are hitting your maximum potential or you're consistently trying to um, achieve your maximum potential. It's not about how successful, it's about how comfortable you are, how fulfilled you are feeling in your journey, all right? So I'm gonna change the camera angle and let's go in and explore, all right? And then of course, we'll connect at the end again. So here we go. I've just played some music. Please let me know if it is audible. Just give it a few seconds, it's just coming on. Perhaps one or two thumbs up to give me an idea whether it's audible, it's clear, the music is clear. Settle down in a seated, comfortable position. And start to connect with your natural breath. Just 
Observe the natural inhalation and exhalation, your spontaneous breath within you. Say to yourself mentally that I will keep an open mind, an objective mind, through today's reflective journey. To make the journey comfortable, we will do three rounds of alternate nostril breathing. Bring your right hand thumb to gently close your right nostril and take a nice deep inhalation through this left nostril. And then using the small finger of your right hand, gently close the left nostril. And as you open the right nostril, exhale mindfully from your right nostril. Then inhale through the right and close the right nostril with your thumb and open the left nostril to exhale mindfully. That was one round. Please continue at your own pace for two more rounds. When you finish with your second round, rest your hands on your lap and reconnect to your natural breath. You are now going to start your reflective journey to either create, build, or enhance your personal legend. Today you are going to become the author of your own story. In life, why have someone else dictate your life story when you can write your own Experience not required. All you need is the fire inside and to call upon your own inspiration led intuition to guide you through. Your story includes anecdotes from your past that have been signposted along the way. Perhaps now as you ponder, you will connect the dots and see them for what they have contributed or how they have contributed to your life. As you write mentally or you physically write, you capture important elements of your life that reveal to others your journey of self-discovery. You will give attention to your childhood, your family life, your education, your relationships, the places you have been, the interesting things you have done, and any inner struggles you may have endured, succumbed to, and overcome. 
Importantly though, are the lessons that have been made that have made you a better person today. Today is just the starting point in our world of finite moments. Today the outline of your life story, your personal legend starts to take shape. If you already have an outline, today your words and today your words add meaning and more life to your legend. Today you are who you want to be. The scribe, the poet, the bard, the teller of the tale. Today you see your life story in its true form. A twinkling star in an infinite universe. A glowing ember in the fires of immortality. As the Persian poet Hafiz said, the words you speak or write will become the house you live in. It's time to commence. Keeping connection with a comfortable body and mind, you start on this reflective meditative journey. You are enrolled in a self-awareness through meditation writing course. The opening topic is creating the outline for your life story. You are concerned that you do not have a story to share, but are pleasantly assured that you do indeed. You just don't realize it yet. It piques your interest to uncover the dormant mysteries of your own life. You start with the first exercise Recalling your childhood. The following questions will help you do so. What is your relationship with your name? What do you feel when you say your own name? Do you know the meaning of your name? What magic did a typical day in your childhood include? Do any memories stand out for you? And if so, what made them? Which anecdotes of your childhood are still shared in the family? What childhood personality traits remain 
and are very much part of you today. Some memories may be happy and some may be tinged with sadness. Life was different then. We now progress into a time of change when the fires of adulthood start to burn brightly. This is the time when we felt we were immortal and could conquer the world. We were all knowing but not yet all doing. We were ready to climb the highest mountain and reach for the stars. We were teens blossoming into young adults. What decisions did you make that altered the course of your life? What decisions that you recall as not having acted upon could have created a different outcome? What decisions do you feel have been the key turning moments leading up to this present moment? Did you climb your mountain and reach for the stars? If no, you still have pages to write. If yes, are you still in awe of the stars that you continue to gather? Which memories would you like to fill a chapter with in your book of life? Memories that serve as a lesson for posterity, moments of truth, Memories of inspiration. Maybe some heartwarming and some sad. Remember, you are the author of your story. Be proud of your truth. Pages are blank and the decisions rest lightly on your shoulders.
You are now preparing to find the legend inside of you as you live and love today. What activities do you do that you really like? And what are the activities that you do not like in this present day? What are the influencers that force you into activities you do not really like? If you were asked today who makes up your world, who would you have in it? Do you have any I have to or I must? And do you have any I would love to? What would you include in your chapter titled Change that includes moving from I would love to to I love it? This can be one of the most interesting and fulfilling chapters in your personal legend. chapter titled Change that includes moving from I would love to to I love to. This chapter can herald in a new era. A new epic to be inscribed in the annals of time. You are the creator, the main character. It is your legend in a new time. Now that we have been through a life review, we step into the next section called Joining the Dots. Using the three insights taken from the Celestian Prophecy. The first, Synchronicity. Nothing happens through coincidence. Everyone who crosses our path has a message for us. They are either a lesson or a blessing and are in our lives for a reason. We may have been ignoring miraculous or chance happenings as nothing to seriously consider. Or even give credence that they could have had an intended purpose for us. We gain this insight when we become consciously aware of the coincidences in our lives and understand their meanings.
such synchronicity is easy to see in retrospect. As we look back to the fateful twists of our pasts, the family experience that shaped us, the people who influenced our early interests and educational choices, the forks in the road that led us to where we are today. All these in retrospect. However, it is much harder to keep this awareness fully functioning in the present. What if we kept these thoughts in our mind? Who will we meet today? What information might we receive that will shape our life direction? We gain this insight when we become conscious of the coincidences that are meant to fulfill our potential and purpose. Let's explore. What's your relationship with synchronicity? Which events are complete evidence of synchronicity in your life? Do you feel you ignored some such events? How instantly aware are you of these magical moments every day? Or is it more in hindsight? Let's move to the next insight is following intuition. Recognizing our inner spiritual intelligence opens up as up, as up to a life guidance. Once we learn to identify intuitions, we realize how they bring forth synchronicity. Another level of awareness occurring. At first we receive an intuitive picture or an urge to end or begin something or perhaps to solve a problem or to pursue some line of interest. Then if we follow the guidance diligently with mindfulness, an important synchronistic breakthrough will take place, thus leading our lives forward to our greater calling. And in this way, following our intuition is the key to increasing the synchronicity flow and maintaining our flow of destiny. Explore. Do you know your language of the soul? Do you know your intuition, the language of the soul? Do you recognize it? Is it a feeling? 
Is it a knowing? Or is it a seeing or a hearing? Do you acknowledge it and allow it to guide you? Think of the moments when you allowed it to guide you and moments when you ignored it. The awareness of synchronicity and intuition in our lives today represents an awakening from what has been a distraction with material security and comfort. We have existed in an earthly slumber for centuries. Let's move up to the third insight for today. Human control dramas. When we use a control drama to hold power over another, we absorb their energy, leading to a sense of gratification and motivation to continue the practice. We thus become addicted to the sensation and we will get progressively more demanding and out of control in our efforts to absorb even more energy from our interactions with others. We turn into energy vampires. When we are disconnected from our own inherent and positive source of energy, we look at psychologically steal, to steal it from another. We are ignorant to the fact that in making ourselves feel better, we are hurting the other person. While this struggle is largely unconscious, it has been the underlying reason for all human conflict in the world. not necessarily global conflict, but even personal conflict within otherwise loving relationships. When we develop the credo of not manipulating, we step into conscious, consciousness awareness. We become aware of how we use control drama to build ourselves up at another person's expense. We learn to stop ourselves before we lapse into control drama behavior. Question to ask, how well do you recognize your own human control dramas? Are you aware when you use them? There will be times when you are aware that you are using control drama but are unable to retract in time. Are you able to discern when someone else is doing that to you? There will be times when you know you are the victim of control drama but choose not to do anything about it. Is that a constant or is it a one-off in your life?
How has the control drama shaped you in your life choices? There will be times when you know you have been the victim of control drama. Give thought to whether you have been the victim consistently or just one off or occasionally. Remember, others can only take away from you when you permit them to. We move on to understanding the silver lining and your clouds. You now have a more focused awareness of synchronicity, intuition and freedom from your control dramas. If, you, if all the tough moments you have experienced in your life were clouds, did you look for the silver lining behind these clouds? Perhaps are you currently experiencing any clouds that you haven't been able to find the silver lining to? Did you look at the white expanse of the sky and say to yourself, don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small stuff. Keeping the insights, the three insights in your mind, synchronicity, intuition, and freedom from control drama. Which insights are now obvious when you look at the clouds in your life? And which insights are obvious when you look for the silver lining in those clouds? Have you experienced flashes of intuition that you ignored or that have stood you in good stead? Did you give in to control drama or did you do yourself proud by not getting into it? Have there been instances or a chain of synchronistic moments that are revealing even to this today? Gathering all that reflection, ask yourself, how would I like to be remembered? Imagine you were now writing the epilogue to your personal legend. What would you write about yourself?
Imagine it is to be your final goodbye, your swan song. What words would you choose to be remembered by? Your personality? Your deeds? Your contribution to all life on Mother Earth? Your personal impact? Your social or global impact? Your resilience and courage in life on your terms. Knowing you have climbed your mountain and touched the stars. Remember, it is your personal legend. You are the scribe. You are the poet. You are the bard. And you are the teller of the tale. How would you like to be remembered? It is your personal legend and you are the teller of the tale. Gathering all this information, feeling inspired, focused, grounded and ready to step out with renewed conviction with your outline of your personal legend. Take a nice deep energizing breath. And as you do so, recreate the space where you began this reflective journey. Gently bringing yourself back to this moment. And gently with the next exhalation, you can open your eyes. Feeling grateful, relaxed, 
and better than before. How's everybody feeling? I hope today the messages roll by because <laughs> last time was quite funny. I just, my, my screen was just not scrolling up. Okay, so I know that the screen is moving. I got a message from Tony saying that was cool. All right, that's good. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Tony. Christine says, feeling inspired to begin my next few chapters. Great. So you've got an outline and you're going to be writing your tale. How wonderful is that? I'm going to pick up some cards, um, some guidance. To start with, we'll, we'll pick up guidance for the three insights that I chose for today. And of course, keep sharing your feedback, how you felt. Uh, did you feel you had a good outline for your personal legend? Uh, did you feel like if you had one already, did you feel that you got some more ideas on how to build the outline more or make it stronger? Uh, how you can consistently work towards reaching your maximum, your highest potential, because that is what the goal of your personal legend is. It's not about success and how popular you are. It's about how fulfilled you feel in your heart. So I'm going to pick up uh, guidance for synchronicity, what the higher realms have to say about synchronicity okay and so far um, I've, it was great that's what my uncle says and uh, Lita says this was a beautiful insight thank you so much okay so let's go for a guidance for synchronicity and the card says transformation the synchronicity is here to help us transform uh, because we get so used to living that uh, living from a smaller space, from living hidden, that we forget that there is a there's a there's transformation ongoing all the time. We are constantly building our personal legend. We might have an idea, but the outline could change, the inside could change, and we're constantly bringing more value to it, so that we live uh, knowing that we are living. In our purpose, we it, our purpose serves others and we feel fulfilled. Joni says, I felt it has brought clarity to me. How wonderful is that? I'm going to now pick up guidance for uh, the second insight that we spoke about is intuition. How intuition actually helps us get aware of synchronicity because if we were not connected to our intuition, we would completely miss out on the synchronicity that's constantly there. Perfect. So Lita says, yes, I've got good insights in enhancing my legend. Way to go, Lita. Okay. Um, okay, so the intuition card says, stand your ground. And that's what happens. We, we forget to trust our intuition and uh, our logical, rational mind goes, oh, no, don't do that. Um, maybe it won't be a success. All those... Um, you know, the control dramas are not only from other people. We, our mind has this control drama within us too. It has this hold on us, this inner voice that tends to control us and does all that, sucks that energy out of, that faith out of our our intuition, our knowing, our, uh, we know it within us, we can see it, not from the physical eye, but with our, with our uh, third eye, with our clarity about something that's not visible to us. Uh, we have a sense of hearing, we hear the guidance, but then it overrides with our control drama. The control drama is within all of us. So it says, stand your ground. Okay. And the last one I want to pick up is about, um, about the control drama. In fact, what is it uh, that the higher realms want us to know where the control drama is concerned? So give me a minute.
mental conflict. And that's what it does. Actually, I was being drawn to two cards. So I'm going to pick up both. So one says, okay, mental conflict. Uh, the control, and this is probably more, uh, actually both ends. We've got the control drama that causes that mental drama inside of he our head. Should I do this or should I do that? But if we were standing our ground and believing in our intuition, we know we will be successful. Journey, whether it's easy or no, that of course, you know, I, I believe if we followed our intuition and we are on our path, doesn't mean that things transform instantly that it takes time and the only reason it takes time is and there could be multiple reasons but what I personally think is because you have not been fine-tuned uh, to the maximum potential for your personal legend like you've still not reached it and hence you need to uh, there are some delays because if it came to you um, it came to you uh, before before you even reached that whole pers uh, perspective of who you're meant to be, the personal legend, would you try? Would you go on further? Not really, right? You would stop. You'd be happy. You'd be content. So the the uh, control drama that comes within us helps us to uh, actually have an argument and build strength in our intuition in a way. And the other card was love begins. Now, Interestingly, the way I'm looking at love begins where control drama is concerned is there's a lot of emotional, what we call blackmail that comes along in our lives. Uh, Well-meaning, you know, uh, as parents, as society, um, maybe in, you know, in a relationship with your spouse or your partner, there's a bit of that emotional blackmail that goes on. And you need to know when when you are subjecting someone else with your emotional blackmail, like, or you are being subjected to it. It's very important to know that. And so the guidance here is don't give in to your mental conflict. That's a control drama. Your mind is controlling you. Don't let it overrule your heart. And love begins is... Emotional blackmail. You might do that to yourself too, but more often than not, it's coming from the outside. And because we are insecure in our own faith to what our personal legend is, it can pull us away, right? Um, and it's, you know, with kindness, with compassion, with the four qualities of love, if you were with me for the four qualities of love, with compassion, with joy, with friendship, and with uh, equanimity, you will be able to overcome that control that is being subjected to you and actually make the other person see that there is no need to control me or vice versa if you're controlling someone else. So knowing this awareness, that to me, awareness is the first step towards making any change in our lives. If we live in denial, we're not going to be able to make any change. And um, that's how I personally believe. That's what I constantly try to do for myself is keep make my, making myself aware of where I could make some shifts so that I can be consistently uh, working towards my personal legend. So that's the guidance for today. Um, please, I would love to have some more feedback from all of you. Uh, I've had a few of you all say it's beautiful. You'll get more clarity about your personal legend, ready to write your new chapters about it. And uh, the three insights, I hope, gave you all a little more support in creating your personal legend. If you feel drawn to... Um, Knowing all the 12 insights, uh, of course, you can always read those books. It's called Celestian uh, Prophecy is the first one, which has got the nine insights. Then is the 10th insight, which is the next one. And I'm not too sure which is the third book, whether, um, I, I'm sorry, I really don't know the name to that book. But if you're once on the roll of it, then you will probably want to read all 12. When I looked at the nine insights, I re-looked it for uh, today's meditation, you know, although I had read it a long time back. I felt like uh, I one went into the other, you know. Um, it sort of, in a way, is, for lack of words, I'm saying repetitive, but each one leads to the other, one insight leading to the other. So, yeah, like uh, Charlotte said, she loved the movie. Um, 
the movie really helps because there's a visual uh, understanding of the insights too so it's really good and don't want to miss out Shal- uh, Shalini's message this was a great insight uh, personal outline right loved reflecting from early childhood to how we would like to be remembered exactly it's um, it's about how when we are gone how do we want to be remembered if you worked we looked we did a review when we looked actually worked back backwards if it's gave our thoughts as to what would I like on my tombstone. Um, how do I want people to remember me? How, what kind of a legend I want to leave behind? How did I make an impact in people who are in my personal life, in my social context, as well as in, on the global, you know, maybe not each one of us reaches on the global level, but I think if you make that butterfly effect on each person who comes in touch with you, we do make a difference on a global level too, without us knowing, of course. So, um, yeah, that's that. It, it, it is a constant journey, exactly what Kim is saying. There's lots of work. It's an ongoing journey. Uh, the, the outline is there. You keep building on it. You keep working on it because ultimately it's our reaching your maximum potential. There's always room for improvement. Um, Okay, so Lita says, I actually got an insight into outline of my story in my future chapters and have to focus on a chapter that I was not giving much thought. Okay, that's really nice. So new chapters are coming up, new ways to look at it. And again, there is an opportunity to recreate ourselves. Uh, There are blank pages. There are new chapters that can be added to our lives, to our book of personal legend. And I think we have such a huge opportunity that's been presented to us to relook. Um, for some, yes, on the outside, there is, um, there's distance from family at the moment. For some, they've had great loss uh, in, through the whole pandemic. For some, it's been a financial uh, crisis in many ways. It's been, you were not prepared to make the job change that you... Um, were probably thinking of or were not wanting to do it because there was it was giving a sense of security but then you had no choice but be thrown into it because you lost your job due to the present scenario that's actually a huge way that the universe is saying transform create your personal legend something that you've been putting aside for such a long time um is is what is being given to us it's been actually given to us and like i said last time in my meditation perhaps it's nice to reconnect and see what were we asking for what were we praying for in our personal life and perhaps that is um what is being answered it's being answered in the way that we didn't think it would be answered but it is being answered and have we uh, are we matching up our vibration to it are we showing up are we doing our bit to, um, to manifest what we were asking for. The universe is saying, here it is. These are the opportunities I'm giving you. I've changed a few things for you. Go for it. Use it. And if we are in denial, we'll not be able to do it. So Tony has just shared with me, because I couldn't get the name of the subsequent books after the 10th insight for the 11th and 12th one. It says, The Secret of Shambhala in Search of the 11th insight. And the 12th insight is The Hour of Decision. I should get these two books and read about um, the uh, 11th and the 12th insight. Uh, James Redfield is the author and it was quite an interesting revelation for me in the year 1993. I I wouldn't say I was unfulfilled but um, I was not totally um, uh, I was working in an industry that I was I was doing very well but I was not enjoying because I knew I was not hitting my maximum potential. From my managers and everybody, I was doing great. But something was not there. Something There was a void in there. And um, I was trying to fill it with other things. And perhaps it was not my time to, uh, to step into creating the outline of my personal legend. But... Pretty much, uh, I would say, 1993. So by 1998, I was pushed into the corner to go figure out my personal legend through uh, because of my health. And I still remember, actually, this suddenly came to my mind, and I'm going to share that. I was, I, I was sitting for an IELTS exam, 
Um, and, um, you know, the IELTS has three sections. You have the reading, writing, and then, of course, you have the interview. And so I went in for my uh, interview for the IELTS and uh, I had to hit a high score for obvious reasons. You know why I would be doing the IELTS. It did not miss out on the immigration because of bad marks of IELTS. I actually did really well. But I was sitting for the interview and the question that was thrown to me was, Re, um, uh, give us a story about when you lost something. And for the moment, I was like, hmm, what do I talk about? I've lost ba my baggage a couple of times um, when I've traveled. I've lost uh, a diamond <laughs> or my engagement ring. But I was like, no, those are not the things that I want to talk about. I don't want to relate that story. And I knew that he was recording it. And I, I went suddenly with, I want to talk about the time when I lost my health. And, uh, and so I, then I can kind of uh, relate the whole story to uh, for the interview. And uh, it was quite interesting that at that moment, my head decided not to go into sharing just the simple way of losing something. And the only great loss that I could think of at that moment was about my health. It was, it was something because while I was relating it, it made me think uh, how that event changed so much for me. So... With that note, with a high note, high marks for my IELTS, I think I hit a nine uh, or whatever the highest score is. So uh, I leave you all with some good thoughts to create, keep continue, uh, keep working on creating new chapters to your personal legend. And I, I really hope that this has inspired you. As always, the meditation. Uh, Meditation is on my Facebook. The meditation is on my YouTube channel. This is something perhaps you want to reconnect with um, at different times of your life. So it's always there. And I would love to hear your personal story and more about your personal legend. Until next Sunday with something new, something more to reflect on and work with. Uh, I say a, a lovely goodbye and a great week to each one of you. Um, okay, so I'm getting some more feedback. So I'm going to hang around and not say bye just yet. Uh, I know Charlotte was a Christine who said losing baggage. I've had quite a few of those and I have a beautiful feedback from my uncle. I have worked for only one company. Ooh, um, I missed the message. Anyway, I will, I will respond to it. And I have great respect for each one of you for really showing up and being with me every Sunday, because like I've said, because there's an interaction, there is that spark of uh, inspiration and desire in me to create new and to, uh, to share something that uh, is very close to my heart. Um, so thank you so much. Really, I really appreciate your presence, your energy, your interaction and uh, your support. So thank you so much and uh, see you all next Sunday. Bye. Take care.